What's up, everybody? This is Trixman of Smash, and welcome back to yet another online Elite Smash match. And in case no one's told you yet today, buddy, you look good. And today, we're going to be answering some questions from players who had commented on the community tab on YouTube. If you want to have a question in a video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I'm going to be asking for questions very, very frequently, so be sure to check it out and leave a question. So today's question is from a player named Ducks Are Great, and his question is, how do you get someone to approach you, or how do you force someone to approach you when the stocks are even, or if you are losing? And I can actually sum this up pretty quickly. If the stocks are tied and the percent is close, then if you have a projectile, then by all means, shoot that projectile. And what will happen is the enemy is going to try and stop you from shooting them. So they're either going to sit on a platform and try to not get shot, or they're going to shield, or if they're not having success with that, and some players try and parry, what they're going to do is they're going to rush at you, and they're going to try and stop you from shooting at them. If you can't land a shot to save your life, then guess what? They're not going to approach you. And I'll even go as far as to say this. If you happen to be down a stock, welcome to fucking Smash Ultimate. They are not approaching. If the player is up against you, they've earned the right to camp or run away or play the way that they want to play. It blows my mind when I see players who are losing and camping. It does not work. If you don't have the ability to put on damage from a distance, so let's say you play someone like Snake or someone who has multiple projectiles and you can put damage on and try and bring it back and apply pressure while you are down, then sure. But to try and get someone to run at you for basically no reason other than the fact that you want them to, if you just crouch camp in the corner with Kirby, for example, and do literally nothing, then they're not going to approach you. They don't have to. And I will say, in case you haven't noticed or paid attention to the gameplay in the background, I am actually catching AIDS as we speak, because playing against this Yoshi was fucking AIDS, and it made me want to die in real life. But this is the exact example right here where it's like, He's winning, and all he was doing basically was whiff punishing me and using his aerial drift to just drift away from me the entire time. And there's nothing I can really do to make him play unsafely so that he will just die for no reason. If you wanted to time me out, in Elite Smash, since he's up by two stocks, or even if he was up by one stock, then he could do that and he would actually win. It wouldn't go to sudden death and I'd have a chance to cheese him. But realistically, there's nothing I can do to make him approach me unless he just genuinely believes he's the better player and he can just fucking kill me like that. <laughs> so, at this point, I already know for a fact that this player is dog shit. He does not know how to play Smash Ultimate at all. And I prove it in this game, because instead of just running at him like I did the game before, because I just didn't give a shit, in this one, I actually play much more safely and much more properly and say, you know what? I'm not going to lose to this guy again because he's genuinely not good. He really only had the opportunity to win against me because I played like a dumbass because I didn't care. I just ran at him. As soon as I see Yoshi on my screen, I want to die in real life. And so I basically allowed him to win for free because I didn't want to fight him. But then my chat wanted me to continue to fight him and just prove that I wasn't just talking shit and that I said I could win and he's actually bad when actually he might actually be better than me. And so I fought him again. So something else that you'll notice in this game is that this game is going to take much longer, almost twice as long as the game before, because you'll notice there'll be points in time where he is in fact losing, and he doesn't care. He just runs away and acts like a fucking weirdo, bro. And I know I'm just popping off right now, but just bear with me. The thing is, I've been playing this game for a long time, and this is one of the things that makes people hate Elite Smash so much, is how people don't know how to play the game. I understand that not everything is competition rules or tournament rules where you can time somebody out and everyone should know the rules, but at the very least, you, you're playing at 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning or whatever and this is what you decided to do. This is what you want to do with your time. I want to float around with Yoshi or Game & Watch or Isabelle or Kirby or Jigglypuff or any of these fucking characters that can just fly around the screen and be fucking annoying. and just make you want to die. That's somehow fun for people. I understand if it's funny. I understand if it's funny. But what are you doing at 2 in the morning playing like this? I'm just trying to find out, bro. And at this point right here, I am up. And I'm still playing relatively safely, minus getting hit by that dare. And right here, I'm just trying to put on some more damage. But as you can see, if I have to run away, then I'm running away. So to answer the question, you want someone to approach, you have to be winning. 
That's realistically the only way to get someone to approach you is if you are winning, then they will have to approach or they they risk losing. And in the tournament setting, you can lose on the same stock because of the percent. But right here, I'm just playing safe, running away from about like another 70%. Still, just, he's putting on damage and he can't kill me. This is Yoshi we're talking about. He can literally slam his head against the controller like he probably did right there, and he will get a kill. But he didn't kill me until 170. Falco is not heavy. <laughs> we know this. Falco is quite light. So for this guy to not be able to kill me to 170, he doesn't know what he's doing. Narrow the shield would kill like it finally did. I think his forward or back air kills, up air kills, up tilt I think can combo. Down B spam can kill. All kinds of stuff can kill. Fair can kill into up air. All kinds of stuff. And he just wasn't doing it. So right here, I'm basically just... I wouldn't say asserting dominance, but just playing in a way where it's like, I'm going to not lose this game. I'm not losing this game because I literally just don't want to. My chat wanted me to win, so that's what I did. And so I guess since I've gotten the complaining out of the way, the action plan for yourself to say, how do I get someone to approach me if I'm losing? You don't. That's what you do. You literally don't. You have to try and wall them or push them into a corner. I talk about this all the time in coaching where I'll coach like an Incineroar or a Ganon, or I'll even say like a Captain Falcon or a Roy. And what you're trying to do is back someone into a corner, and by corner I mean to the ledge, and make them make a decision. Are they going to try and jump over you, try and hit you, or roll past you, or hope that you jump and then they're going to run underneath you. And essentially you're gonna play this game of cat and mouse or a game of tag where all you're doing is chasing them. If you are unsuccessful every single time you put them in the corner, they're going to continue to just run away. And if you start to go for dash attacks or fair or nair on their shield and it's not safe, they're going to just punish you. They're going to punish you very, very easily. And speaking of punishes, we get the down smash and the two stock. And I'm teabagging on this guy because I told my chat this guy is ass. He literally only won the game before because I chased him. He needs to be chased in order to actually win. And when that happens, if you fall for that, like I did on the first game, because like I had mentioned, playing Elite Smash, and it's not that crazy, but I just wanted to kill him because, honestly, fuck Yoshi. But if you fall for it in a tournament and you chase someone who has no neutral and does not know how to whiff punish, you will win, you will lose the game and you will allow them to win the game. You will win the game for them. And speaking of which, here is another very good example of absolute AIDS. This person, once again, does not know how to fucking play the game. I'm shooting lasers and they're crouch camping. That's all they're doing. They don't know how to get close or try and stop me from shooting lasers. This is basically what the entire game looks like. And I'm, I'm sorry, but if this is you, and I don't mean you as in Cleric the Kirby, but if you play like this because you don't know how to get in, then you have a lot to learn. If you complain saying all he did was sit there and shoot lasers, well, honest brother, I'm winning. I'm literally winning. And you'll see that if and when I happen to just jump on him for no reason to try and get the game over with, I, I end up taking damage and I start to lose. I'm literally winning, so he has to try and scare me out of the corner. This is not a game. This is literally nothing. Like, if this was tournament, this might be, what, EVO 2017? <laughs> if you know the reference, you know the reference. Like, we're literally doing nothing. And this... This is how this game went, and if, if you're someone who's trying to actually get GSP, or you're trying to play in the tournament, and this is how you play because you think it works, it literally only works against bad players who get frustrated enough to just start dash attacking at you, or trying to grab you, or whatever, to try and just put some damage on. If you play against anyone who has even one brain cell, it will never work. And so, if you're someone who's trying to practice also on Elite Smash, and you're running into something like this, constantly or the game that was before this constantly it is very damaging to your mental because it's like if this is how competitive players play i don't want to compete <laughs> and genuinely this is not how competitive players play because if this was an actual tournament and i'm winning by as much as i am i wouldn't be doing anything i would just be waiting and basically teabagging the entire game because it's like you don't know what you're doing bro you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look at this. You're trying to finally approach. Now you're actually playing the game properly and trying to get something to happen. It's not working. Back to crouch camping. Trying to crouch, crouch camp and get in. It's not going to work, bro. Like, eventually, he does get some kills. And I will say that this game actually starts to turn into something towards the end. But because this is so utterly boring, 
I feel like if you're watching this still to this point, you are getting AIDS by watching this because it's so bad. This is at 14, or this player is at 14.55 million GSP. He's lower than me by the, in, in this video, he's lower than myself, but you can't tell me that this player, or you can't, you can't I should never believe, I should say, that this player got to that level by doing this to every person that he fought. He chose Kirby on FD to try and crouch camp people into giving in and fighting him and then just whiff, punish, whiff punishing someone who's genuinely just annoyed as hell. So here's the thing. If this Kirby was a good player, he would be getting me in the corner, walling me out, or trying to catch my options. So if I happen to jump and he catches me, fair play. He gets me off stage and he spikes me or gets a two frame or catches me with a dash attack or I roll and he reads that, then by all means, totally fine. But to just sit there and wait, because in Elite Smash, once again, I'm, I've already talked about this before, but if the game goes to sudden death, or sorry, if the game ends right now and we're on the same stock, it goes to sudden death. And I feel like this is how this player has gotten to this level or to this point, because this is, this is our game. In a tournament, I would do this all day. Just shoot lasers, run away, make him figure it out. You can't figure it out there should be more of a sense of urgency so if you're trying to learn how to get someone to approach you never do this you need to actually learn the game for real and i will say if you are someone who actually does want to learn how to play the game for real so situations like this don't happen to you or you yourself are not in the position of the kirby player who doesn't know what to do i still am offering coaching full time and in the coaching of course we're going to talk about the mental we're going to talk about the ledge trapping backing people into corners character matchups, all that good stuff, so that you're not in a situation like this where you want to die in real life because people don't know what they're doing. So anyways, at this point, we are up by a gigantic margin, but I will say at one point in the game coming out relatively soon, Nintendo Online rears its ugly head and disaster does in fact strike. And at that point, I wanted to, brother, I wanted to end it all, I'm going to be honest. I think it's actually coming up right here. I get down smash on the ledge, I wanted to roll, but Nintendo. Then this incredible misinput happens, dying up by as much as I was. And now I have to kill this guy. Also right here, I almost trolled. I almost lost the game literally right there. I would have actually died in real life if that happened. And I teabagged because it's like, yo, he had a chance to win. That was his only chance to win. So right here, he actually has a, a percent lead. And if this was a real tournament, which we never get to this point, but let's just say it was a real tournament, I'd have to do something. So you're going to see something happen here. It's like, wait a second, Tricks from Meta Smash is losing? Allow me to actually approach and get some punishes to try and make my comeback versus just shoot lasers and <laughs> be a fucking moron the entire time. Catch the two frame and catch these nuts, bro. Like, fuck this guy, honestly. And with that, that's going to be it for the video. Not the most lighthearted video in the world, I understand that, but brother, please. If you don't know how to approach, you have to learn. You just have to learn. And if you don't know how to learn, then you at least have to try and do some trial and error. But this, this is not it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys and thanks for watching.